Hate speech is contrary to the uh, freedom of speech, and is also hate speech is contrary to freedom of speech, and is also uh, against basic rule of law principles. Some cases have already been mentioned on our hate speech works. I will add three quite quickly. A few years ago in Sweden, we ran a campaign. Uh, about keeping the legal definition of marriage <coughs> as being a heterosexual definition. We posted this poster which says keep marriage as a legal definition heterosexual and it says at the bottom mom, uh, father, mother, father and children. Innocent? One may think. People were furious. And the drivers of the underground in Stockholm said, we refuse to drive the trains because this poster is so offensive to us. There were prominent politicians in Sweden who said, this kind of statements must be banned from the public arena. We are offended. The Mohammed cartoons out of Denmark well, they exercised freedom of speech, which is included in the freedom of expression and press. One can talk about, was it appropriate, was it nice, but it was certainly legal. The response that we saw in Denmark and around the world were fatwas, riots and boycotts, and with a demand, we want to have freedom from hearing anything negative about Muhammad. We don't want to see anything that we don't like regarding Islam. And a fundamental confusion that a lot of people do is the difference between etiquette and law. Being nice and what is legal. Was, were the cartoons nice? No, I wouldn't say so. Were they legal? Yes. Here's another very, very scary picture. Are you ready? It's a cross. <laughs> Necklace as hate speech. In the UK, two women have been fired from their jobs, one from the National Health Services and one from British Airways. Why? They wore a cross in a necklace and it was deemed to be offensive. The demand, the implication is freedom from seeing things that we don't like. And even the British government is defending these actions, defending the right of employers to fire people who are wearing Christian symbols. So where are we going? Well, we are going in the wrong direction. Because democracy is not a destination. It is a journey. It may go backward, it may go forward. Right now it's going backward in Europe. We are moving towards a right to not be offended, and thus a limited right for others to express different opinions. And it's often these three groups which would make very strange bedfellows that are demanding this absurd right from free seeing or hearing things that they don't like. It's the secularist, the gay lobby, and some Muslim groups. So there is a choice. We are at an important crossroads in Europe. Are we going to keep freedom of speech or are we going to move to freedom from hearing or seeing things that certain groups don't like? We are starting down a slippery slope away from basic rule of law principles from freedom of speech to freedom from hearing things that we don't like. From the speaker to the hearer. From what was being said to what was being heard. From what was actually communicated to how I perceived it subjectively. <coughs> the limitations of freedom of speech has been for many, many years, you can't instigate violence. But now, you're putting a new limitation, you can't offend or hurt people. Europe is becoming 
I guess Americans and Canadians and Australians too, a bunch of wimps. <laughs> Don't say anything so I will cry, because I will take you to court. We're moving from objective criteria to subjective criteria. This is contrary to rule of law principles. It's a very dry presentation, so I'm going to have a set. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. You can never have freedom of speech and at the same time a guarantee that no one will ever be offended. We need to choose. Or, as Salman Rushdie said, democracy is not a tea party where people sit around making polite conversation. If you've ever seen a debate from the U British Parliament, you know the wit and you know how tough they can be uh, against each other. Just imagine if David Cameron would start crying, you are not nice to me. <laughs> <coughs> Freedom of speech is absolutely fundamental because without it, mm -hmm. there is no freedom of religion. There are three tenets to freedom of religion as stated in the Universal Declaration, Article 18. Freedom to have a religion, to manifest a religion, express it privately, publicly, with others, and change it. There's no freedom of press if we don't have freedom of speech. There's no political freedom. There's no freedom of expression in art and in music. That is why this trend is so dangerous, because there are no winners, only losers. Christians may be targeted very much right now, but as we move down the slippery slope, they're all, we're all going to be losers, and especially democracy and human rights. Read all about it here. <laughs> Under further reading, if you click on that tab, there are papers on freedom of speech in English, and in Spanish. Thank you.